Before we start the assembly of the underside of the wing, we just need to put the upper surfaces onto of the uh, of the ailerons onto the aileron depron parts. So uh, let's crack on with that. Now you'll see on the actual aileron sticker is shorter than the aileron itself and that gives us a good guide um, to trim the aileron so that it actually is free to move within the area on the wing. So we'll just do that. Let's now move on to finishing off the wing and uh, applying all of the bits and pieces that we have to on the underside. Um, I've got all the bits here that I require to, uh, to complete the build. I have my uh, carbon fibre, I've got the aileron control rods and I've also got my wing brace. So the uh, first stage of this process is to <coughs> insert the carbon fiber rods into the routed area. Next, we need to install the aileron control rods, and to do this, we are going to use our trusty tray insert um, which will help us with uh, when these um, when these parts of the rod go through the wings um, but before we actually put these through and into the routed area there um, we need to apply a little bit of oil to them and this will just help it stop sticking to the sticker that covers, covers over the, uh, the routed area so Avoid putting any oil in this area here as there's actually a sticker going over there and we want it to, uh, to stick down. So let's just install one. <coughs> and in goes number two. Wipe away, wipe away any excess oil there and that's fine right now what we'll do is pop a few stickers on to keep that in place so now what we can do is pop our ailerons in place so that one goes there that one goes there and we'll get them installed um, onto the uh, onto the wing. So there we go, our ailerons are now attached and um, fully functional. The next step is to induce the dihedral in the wing by using our, um, our wing brace. And that actually goes through the slot here that we've widened slightly and sits just there. Now, the best idea to ensure that you get a good angle of dihedral induced in there is to actually glue it in. So that's exactly what we'll do. And what I'm going to do before this glue dries is I'm just going to pop 
the brace into the wing, make sure that it makes contact so it deposits some of the glue onto the wing and then just remove it and let the two surfaces dry off. The glue is now dry so we can apply and insert our wing brace and we can push it home firm so that all of the depron of the wing is touching the, the brace itself and as you can see it's now induced a nice four degree dihedral on both sides.